Hello everyone, Basicol here. Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another GT Sport video. Today we have some Daily Race C. Because to be honest with you, Daily Race C this week is absolutely immense. It's an Urban Ring Grand Prix, multiple tyres that you need to use, Group 3 cars. Mwah, beautiful, an absolutely brilliant combination and the best combination I've seen in a while. So first thing we need to do then is set a good qualifying time. So having a look at the top 10 times, of all the cars in there, you know I'm going to pick WRX, right? You just know. If you watch this channel, you know I'm a Scooby man. You know, I just I just love it. I just love it in real life and I love it in the game. So let's get this qualifying lap underway then. So we're breaking uh, as the grass starts to form on the left-hand side, going through turn one as tight to the apex as we possibly can. Keeping it in second gear. First gear is a little bit too unstable. And going into third gear here, just lifting off the throttle, just about 20-odd percent as we exit and then... Put my foot all the way down, going all the way to the right and then flicking the car over to the left-hand side. Getting two wheels over the kerb and making sure we don't actually cut it as we go through turn four as well. We'll set the uh, Mercedes Arena. Yeah, you've got to make sure as you go through there that you're um, you're on the edge if you really want a good time. Okay, going through turn five and then turn six and absolutely love, love turn six. I decided to keep in third gear here. It just gives me a bit of, a bit of better traction as I exit the corner. And you can see this time is in front of me is actually... Uh, seventh on the leaderboard, so we are absolutely killing it at the moment. We're actually ahead at this point, but there is a Constantino effect as I can't quite get on the loud pedal as quick as our chap in front of us can, and yeah, we lose a bit of time. That is to be understood. You know, if the Constantino effect, if you understand it, you'll know why we lost time. Because we break later, we can't accelerate as early as we exit out the corner. But as we go through the Schumacher races then, and we go through turn 10 and then turn 11, this is probably my weakness, turn 11 here. Just couldn't quite get it right, as you can see, all my sector times on the bottom right-hand corner. Personal best moments of 52.8, but there is an optimal of a 52.6, if I can absolutely nail it. Breaking the 100 meter board all the way down to second gear, around 63 miles an hour, going over those two curbs there, making sure the car doesn't actually go four wheels off the kerb, otherwise you will get a corner cut penalty. This last corner here then, I feel like I just didn't get on the power too early, uh, and when I did get on the power, the rear just stepped away from me a little bit, just put my foot too harshly on the accelerator pedal. But that was a 52.7, which at the time was really, really good, I thought. And that was good enough to put me in P5, and in this lobby, just look at the sum of the names in here. Myro's got 96k driver rating. Maxim's one of the best uh, Britain has to offer. Uh, who else we got? Daplin in here. We got Key, uh, Womble Leader, uh, <laughs> Will Murdoch, Zavisic. Just an absolutely star-studded lobby. It's got so many big names in here. It's absolutely awesome. And yeah, I'm really, really happy to be starting in fifth place for this one. So that qualifying time, even though it was only like three, four temps off a top 10 time, I still wasn't good enough to get me on top or in the top three. So we're gonna start in P5 here, and as we get underway, let's talk about the race quickly. So I said earlier, you need to use two different tires. So you need to use the softs and the mediums. I believe the tire wear is time seven, Please do correct me if I am wrong on that. As we go into the first corner, get nice and close to the Italian hills, late, late on the brakes. I have a feeling some of the lads in front of me will be on the mediums, but decided to start on the softs here. I wanted, an at I wanted to attack, essentially, straight away. No messing around. Let's see what we can do in the opening lap. So it's just trying to eye up the opponents here as we go through the Mercedes Arena. Uh, the chap in the Porsche is probably going to have a really good... As soon as we go like halfway through our stint, I imagine that Porsche is really going to come alive because the tyre wear on that Porsche is just so fantastic. It will really feel the benefit as he goes longer and longer into his stint. But we go through turn six there, and we're looking good. We're looking tidy. We're dropping the, the boys and girls behind us. We're looking quick, uh, which is exactly what I wanted to see. The worst thing is when you set a really good qualifying time, and then you go into the race, and your race pace is just absolutely nowhere. But we seem to be good right now, which is... Uh, really, really good to see. It looks like Maxim and Myra have a little fight ahead whilst I'm hanging on to the back of the Italian and he is hanging on to the back of GTHR Digit. I can see Maxim has got a half second penalty there. He won't have to serve that until the next lap, I don't believe. I think that is just before you get to the hairpin is where you serve that one. But so far, so good. For an opening lap, I'm actually very, very happy. And you can see uh, Maxim and Myra, they've both got half second penalties. And they are fighting like crazy 
going into turn 13 and 14, the NGK chicane, as we're all trying to basically fight through here and find a position. You can see they're going to go three wide into the last corner there. Digit finds the inside line. He takes two people for the price of one. And the Italian there does actually go wide. I managed to sneak up the inside on the last corner. So we've turned 15 and we cross the line. We've gained one position. We do lose it again. It's that Porsche has just got a little bit more power than the Subaru. But we are going to go side by side into the first corner. The Italian breaks way too late. Hits uh, Myro there who hits Digit. But there's a nice little opening that I take into turn one uh, and I go up to P3 so I managed to get two positions there into that corner so the Italian causing a little bit of a ruckus not much it was uh, an honest mistake but you know I took full advantage of it and that's put me up into P3 and Myro is probably going to be trying to get past Digit as soon as he can here before he has to serve his half second penalty and don't forget Maxim behind us as well also has to serve one so that will cost them both time but if I stay nice and close here I should be a little bit of contact there as we exit turn six i should overtake him here so he's gonna serve his penalty now yeah so i've absolutely got plenty of time here to overtake him we go into p2 and it seems to be just me and digit here um to fight it well i say me and digit <laughs> myra still directly behind me actually so uh yeah he's not too far off but at the moment on my screen you can't really see myra he's just a little bit too far back three times quite can't quite see him on the radar but it's going to be a battle for P1. Now, he goes defensive in two, turn 10. But I'm going to go around the outside and get that move done into turn 11. And wow, what a move that was in the end. Around the outside in turn 10. Absolutely awesome. But we've got this long straight here. This turn 12 It's not really... It's completely flat out. It is a corner, but it's completely flat out in these Group 3 cars. I go to the left-hand side, go defensive, break just before the 100-meter board. Uh, tires are still not quite there, um, but we just managed to nail the breaking point and defend our position. And that puts us up into P1 with two laps completed. And we're going to cross the line and start lap three. You can see how close it still is with all the cars behind us. Absolutely awesome stuff, but I've gone from P5 to P1 in two or three laps, and that is absolutely amazing. So now it is all about building that gap and making it as big as I possibly can as I take way too much of the curve there and almost spin it. So end of lap three, start of lap four, I go purple, which is exactly what we want to see, a 55-4. And then next lap, uh, you can see the chaps behind me. They're all in medium tyres, <laughs> so uh, it's going to be really, really difficult. Um, to defend essentially uh, as soon as those lads come in but good news is is that Maxim behind us was actually on the mediums um, not the mediums sorry he was on the softs so he was just like me so he opted to start on those soft tyres now when we do go in the pits we are going to be slower on the second half of this stint but I've got to be honest with you that I never thought in a million years that over a stint on the same tyre you know in group 3 that I would be ahead of Maxim because if you don't know who Maxim is he is in my Discord, and he is we call him GT Sport, the GT Sport of Knowledge, because he literally knows everything about this game, and he's one of the fastest. So I was chuffed just to be here in front of him. And I have to say, this was one of my best performances so far. I'm only five laps in, but I've made up four positions. It seems the strategy has just worked. The lads fighting around me have made this possible. And as I go through the hairpin uh, and up to the Schumacher S's, five laps in, I'm only actually a tenth off my personal best and I have the fastest lap of the race uh, at this point now that more than likely is because I am on soft tyres but I'll take it you know I'll take it how could you not uh, just break for the 100 metre board into turn 10 two wheels on the curb on the left hand side and then this was my kryptonite at this corner couldn't quite get it right whatever I did uh, turn 11 and you can see just suffering with a little bit of a understeer now um, as soon as the tyres start to wear on this thing you get understeer and then a bundle load of oversteer uh, it's a really weird handling car once the tyres have worn you've really got to be uh, on the edge of your seat, you've got to be careful, and just always be careful that brake point as well, actually. You always, um, if you go past 100 meter board, you're in big trouble. Big trouble, indeed. So I decided to come in on lap 5. I didn't want to stretch these tyres an extra lap, just in case I did make a mistake. Decided to put some fresh rubber on. No fuel to worry about in this one. And we're going to put those medium tyres on as the boys get to work. And look how quick that was. Lovely stuff. So we get out of the way, then... Uh, well, I said we get out, we get out of the pits, and we are around 1.5 seconds ahead of Myro here. But let me tell you something. This guy is on soft tyres. He's a top split driver, 
and he has 96,000 driver rating. So when I tell you it doesn't take him long to catch up, it really doesn't. <laughs> you know, he takes a second out of me as soon as we get to the hairpin. Uh, and that's the difference, really, in him just, just how quick he is. Uh, and he's on those soft tyres as well. But me and him have an awesome battle here as we go through uh, turn 10 once more. We're going to go side by side. Now, I just managed to get my rear just in front of his nose there, so he can't make a move. He's going to have to be a little bit more patient and maybe go for a move into the chicane. He's quite close on the slipstream as well, as we get a little bit of a nudge, because uh, he couldn't quite find the gap. And we're defending quite well here so far. Looking for a 100 meter board, but I have broken on it, and I'm on the inside, and that is just a tad too late. Thankfully, though, as we go through the chicane, um, I use myself as like a merble chicane myself, and he can't quite get past but he's going to go around the outside here and just with those soft tyres better traction and better top end he is going to go flying past me around the outside here at least I can say for almost seven laps uh, I managed to lead this race full of all of these top quality drivers so yeah really really pleased with that and we're still in P2 and who knows Myro might make a mistake but lap eight here then unfortunately Will Murdoch behind me and again one of the fastest one of the fastest guys on this game, another Brit, um, just flies past me on the inside. Just nothing I could do. I saw he was going for the move. Uh, I just couldn't defend it. There's no way uh, you can defend from him when he's on those soft tyres and on the mediums. He does eventually catch up with Myra, but it's a little bit too late. And we go to lap 10, and we're going to cross the line. And amazingly, we are going to get ourselves a podium here, which I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with. Starting at P5, got, uh, got ourselves up to P1, driving really well. Um, no penalties. No real incidents uh, to think of. And yeah, just absolutely brilliant. You know, some big names in here we've managed to beat. I know some of them start from the back, but still, we'll take it. We'll take it 100%. And uh, yeah, P3 in the end. Uh, absolutely chuffed with that. Don't think I could have done much better in that one, even in a different car. I feel like the Subaru is just perfect for my driving style. And yeah, a third place thoroughly, thoroughly deserved on that one, I think. But uh we will look at the race highlights and we'll have a look and see what happened during the race and we'll just have a quick overview. So this is where Myro and Maxim both got a half second penalty. So it's through the Schumacher S's. Uh, they, cut the, they cut the very top of it. Um, and I've never got one of those half second penalties before, I don't think. Um, but yeah, they just go a little bit wide. They go on the gravel and I think all four wheels go over the white line and that was essentially that. Um, and they both get a half second penalty so they're fighting through here turn what's that turn 12 uh, going into the chicane they're going to go side by side now Myra does break just after 100 meter board you can see how it breaks himself st still keeps it on the track there's a little bit of side by side contact but nothing malicious and you can see Digit just took advantage of that you know you can see two guys fighting they compromised their, their speed and racing line as they were fighting and Digit just took full advantage of that so uh, GG to him he did well to get himself up to P1 in that Aston Martin and then these two boys here they're just fighting for the slip of Digit and Myro just manages to keep his car there and this is where the Italian goes into the back of Myro and then uh, Maxim and the Italian are just fighting going through this corner and then the Italian does get a one second penalty um, probably deserved I'd say you know it wasn't malicious at all but it is what it is I guess you know if you make contact you cause someone to lose a position I suppose you do have to get a penalty of some sort. That was me making a move around the outside of Digit there, which is really, really cool. Really love that. Uh, and this, this is the boys behind me uh, fighting through the chicane. A little bit of lag there, I think, because I thought that Maxim was clear there, but he still managed to go into the back of Digit there. So he managed to get past Myro, and then he's going to have the suckage all the way down the straight, the home straight. So is he going to go for a move here? He's going to go... No, he, I thought he'd stay in the slip and then try and go on the inside but he's going to break as the dirt just starts to appear on the left hand side go around the outside on turn one and he wants to have the inside for turn two and it looks like he's going to get that move done and he does indeed so that's great stuff um 200 iq there decides to stay on the outside of turn one so you can get the inside of turn two absolutely brilliant and this was myra then as we were fighting side by side i think the reason he didn't get that move done in at two turn 10 is because there was a bit of contact and it did offset his car ever so slightly and yeah that just he just couldn't get the move done after that and then we had to go through turn 11 and then going through turn 12 here just fighting he's a little bit too close to get the suck and then power past me by the time we get to the chicane so we're going side by side 
into the chicane here. You can see I've outbreak myself. Now he does try and get past, but once more, uh, just can't move over to the right quick enough. Just goes into uh, the rear of my Scooby ever so slightly there. And we're going to fight side by side, going through the last corner. But this is where the traction of those new soft tyres um, and the better driving skill, to be honest, of Myro gets the move done and it's absolutely beautiful. And this is Will as he caught up with me here. He's just going to get the suck and go for a lunge into turn five. But who can blame him? The door was left open by me. I wasn't going to fight it too much. Uh, he was always going to get this position. We may as well just let him through so he can fight for that P1. But there you go. There you have it, folks. Absolutely awesome race, and I really hope you enjoyed that. It's good to see a good daily race here again. It's about bloody time. But if you did enjoy that, please leave a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll catch you for the next one. Take care. Ta-da.